Let's go. Slow. Oh now. Whoa. Faster. Come on now. Hey ya. And have you ordered a new coat for the wine festival? Yes, you ought to see it. Beautifully tailored orange silk trimmed with pink. Move it. That won't do. It won't do. Do I must your history? Let's go. the strength for it, boy. Would you hunt my beastly mother-in-law? Catch some wings, grab some teeth. It's what life's all about, isn't it? Oh, it's 
My Camelac eggs something fierce. Renovations coming along all right. I am delighted to inform you we have completed our labors. You can now devote yourself to enjoying the vineyard's delights to the fullest. You must forgive me my temerity, sir, but I thought with all the work on Corfo Bianco completed, and with the estate looking more beautiful than ever, it might be appropriate to commemorate the moment. Sure, why not? During the tidying that preceded the renovations, I came across a bottle of Sapramento, the 1250 vintage. I cannot say by what miracle it survived, but it is here. And we've course to open it today. And then he ran straight into the crowd, burning bouquet in hand. All thought it a part of the performance, so they only laughed, even when the decor began to catch fire. It was not until the flames engulfed Baron Mahefkin's beard that folk began to realize something was amiss and went to put out the fires. <laughs> Sounds like Monsieur Bolius and Madame Nina threw some first-rate balls here. It was so. In this regard, Baron Rossell was decidedly more reserved. So tell me, Barnabas Basil, what's the wine situation like here? Am I going to produce any this year? This year is out, I fear, sir. Last autumn, a fungus destroyed all the vines. Baron Rossell had new ones planted, but it will be some time before they start bearing fruit. Assuming that is, the fungus does not reappear. Hmm, that'd be bad. This Sepramento got me dreaming. It's amazing. Isn't it, though? Allow me to top you off, sir. There. Thanks.
cows like an angry wolf. Even a horse drops if you ride it with a constant gallop. Mountains out of mole hills, Vilma. I shall be better than five. I must insist, Count. You'll be much, much the safer with us at your side. Oh, dash. Count, if I may, I believe Vilma's in. it for we're neck deep in trouble of the spider kind need a maid with a broom not a witcher you fail to understand these are huge the size of pigs or dogs black and hairy spewing webs mm -hmm. not talking about spiders then talking about arachnomorphs call them what you will you must smash the rogues will you those caves would be prime barrel storage were it not for the beasts All taken care of. Went inside and cleaned up. Thank the gods! And you too, of course. Time I got back on the path. So long. Lads, I find your concern touching, I do. Yet I've long awaited this day. So, you must forgive me, but I shall go through with it as planned. Ah, it seems my guide has arrived. Greetings. Greetings to you, White Wolf. Uh, I presume you saw my notice? <laughs> Foolish question. You're here, thus you must have seen it. Forgive me, I should introduce myself. Count Belladal, a great admirer of your deeds. Thanks. Not something we witchers hear often. But Count, sir, do you mean to go off with just this witcher? A right hardy fellow he is, no ponce, I'm sure. But your expedition's too risky on the whole. And not taking us with you, pardon my saying it, right daft. You exaggerate, Vilma. I believe I can manage to survive half a day without someone there to wipe me arse in my stead. My guards lament, witcher, but you must forgive them. Now, to get down to brass tacks, as you've no doubt gleaned from the notice, I have a rather extraordinary proposition for you. I'm a lover, Witcher, of nature. <laughs> a devotee of the wild. And Toussaint is home to several species not encountered elsewhere. I'd like you to accompany me on an expedition whose aim is to... Uh, preserve them. <clears throat> ah, yes. Uh, naturally, you'll protect me, should the need arise. 
My ever vigilant guards, see, will report any reckless behaviour to my wife if I get so much as a scratch. And then woe will be me. Need some details before I can say anything. Where are we going? What am I supposed to do exactly? In the roundest terms, we shall admire the local flora and fauna. And while we do, I might preserve a thing or two. Preserve? Of this device, see? Uh, a parastysomac. It, uh, it captures, uh, likenesses. A parasesta what? It's like a movable megascope, capturing moments, transforming them into illusions, based upon which I then paint a painting. So, you want me with you, looking at animals and flowers and... Well, that's more or less what it amounts to, yes. Uh, except you will first have to track down the creatures I wish to capture. I know only the very approximate locations of their habitats. Well, and uh, should any trouble arise, we'll have your sword at the ready, right? So, agreed? Doesn't seem hard. Be glad to do something pleasant for a change. Sublime. In that case, here's your map. Before coming here, I dispatched requests to several local hunters. They located the habitats of the species of interest to me and marked out their ranges on the map. Good thinking. It'll save us some time. Won't need to track. Ready to go? Yes, let's. The light seems perfect just now. Seems I got the map, so I'll lead. Wouldn't rather be out here with those guards of yours? <laughs> you jest. It's deliverance to emerge from under their wings, believe me. They're overprotective, uh, oppressively so. I wish to admire the wildlife, preserve it. Not watch them kill it in a fit of misguided fear for my life. What if the wildlife attacks us? Then we shall have no other recourse. I do not wish to be something supper. You? But as long as they remain calm, we've no need to provoke them. It's, it's of the utmost importance to me, in fact. says there should be panthers around here. Stay close. Keep your eyes peeled. I've got one request, Witcher. Avoid bloodshed, if at all possible. Damn poachers. Snares. Looks like they were hoping to were there. Panther got caught instead. Parastysimac has an added lantern. You must look away or it'll blind you. Parastysimac's upset the animals. Better get out of here. Cannot the bite, Porching. I'm content you share my love for animals. Got pretty broad interests for a man of the city. I suppose I double in my share of things. Wine, nature, painting. I imagine the life of a witcher must be rather more monotonous. With all due respect. It is. Never boring, though. Uh, I, for one, cannot fathom only ever consorting with the same creatures, day in and day out. Got a wife? Y yes What's that got to do with anything? Nothing. Just asking.
Sounds loud and clear here. Must be near the nest. We're here. Well, this vantage point's no good. I shan't capture a good image from here. All right, wait. We'll find you a better spot that's safe, too. Tread lightly. Giant centipedes sense the softest sounds, the lightest vibrations. You wake one up, it wakes up angry. Here, maybe? Distance seems right. Light's not bad either. Yes, this will work perfectly. Gotta send some through the ground. I'll try tossing a bomb or casting a sign. You watch out, don't get any closer. Magnificent that was. We can move on now. Exhilarating. Positively exhilarating. Thank you. I've one more request. Local peacocks performing their mating ritual. I'd love to see that. Apparently, a flock dwells not far from here. We can go. Just don't count on peeping at them while they mate. Season ended a month back. Oh, that's terrible. I so wish to capture their splendorous tails in full bloom. Is there nothing you can do if they prove uneager to present? Perhaps challenge them somehow? Goad them? What did you have in mind? Don't have a tail myself, and I'm not likely to sprout one anytime soon. My thoughts were more along the lines of Witcher magic. They say you can exert influence over lesser creatures. Uh, yeah, guess I can try. Can't promise you anything, though. Splendid. Consider me contented. Uh, I cannot pinpoint the flock's location, but a hunter I know told me a few likely spots. I'll mark them for you. All right. Let's go find some peacocks. I was wondering, why peacocks? My... my daughter is rather fond of them. There will be a treat for her. close. Eyes in the back of your head. Feather from the rump, coated in suet. Cock shed it recently, and the suet's got a distinct scent. Ought to be able to track the flock. A witcher in action. What a treat to watch. <laughs> Hear that? They're calling to each other. Fabulous. We're getting close. Oh, that's lovely. Now, just splay the tails. Oh, this will be a masterpiece. Smile, please. Watch out, giant centipedes. But you killed them already. Clearly not all. Get back.
for now. Whew, that was... That was... Tense. Uh, I believe I've had my fill of excitement for today. What a wonderful adventure! Get everything you wanted? Yes. In that case, time to get back to your camp. Returning your lord to you, safe and sound. You've our gratitude, master. You see, lads? There was nothing to fear. Thank you, Witcher, for looking after our day count. It seems the jaunt did him wonders. Breathed some new life into him. Wait here a moment, Geralt. I have to fetch my coin pouch. Pay my dues. New life? He was feeling down? Made no mention, did he? Ten years back, his last Clarissa is her name. Took a spill off her horse. Been bedridden ever since. Cannot walk of her own. She'd been the life of the house before the calamity. A merry sprite what filled every corner with joy. Count would oft take her out on trips. She loved animals too. Excursions he makes now. Or rather, paintings he brings home. There's her only window on the wider world. Sorry to make you wait. I was dead chuffed to be able to observe you in action. To confirm for myself there that the tales about you were not exaggerated in the slightest. You show discipline, reliability, responsibility. I dare say you'd make the ideal business associate. That's a shame you've no interest in the wine trade. One day, maybe. Your reward. Use it well. Thanks. I have one other matter I wish to broach. In a few days' time, I shall exhibit my work for some friends, my coterie, so to speak. Would you come by? Why not, if I'm in the area? Splendid. In that case, I shall see you at my lodgings. I'm staying with a friend while in Tucson, near a village named Frankelar. I'll be by. See ya. Patrolling on an empty stomach, oh, dreadful.
Get me off to death, Drifter. What do they call you? What's your crest? Speak! Geralt of Rivia, crest of the bridge. Hail and well met. Francois Le Goff, I presume. Your betrothed sent me. See, you've been gone a while, so you've got her worried. I... well, indeed, for... for... Grotore is a most fearsome beast. I must prepare properly for battle. Mm, by napping outside the cave for a fortnight? I have tarried a bit, true, but the delay is done. My word I gave, thus the beast shall die. Wouldn't happen to need any help, would you? I, I don't know. After all, I did swear a solemn oath to... Deposit the beast's head at your beloved's feet. No mention of you killing it all by yourself, though. All in all, I, I suppose you're right. We must fight side by side, then. For honor! should be the one to lop off its head. We gotta kill it first. Hmm, strange. No sign of Kratori. Perhaps we should turn back? If there's no beast, there's no beast. Damn shame, but we tried. Not so fast. Let's take a look around. My troth, the damned brute was sturdy. I, I'm grateful, Witcher. You aided me greatly. Why the challenge? Couldn't have gone after something less formidable. A werebub, for instance. Uh, why? For. For the beast must match in ferocity the very ardor of my affection and... 
your blushing, Sir Knight. Oh, it's my betrothed. The thing is, she champs at the pit to get married when we've not known one another for two years. So I vowed to slay Gratori. Thought it would buy me time to battle such a beast. Why, it could take months. Mm -hmm. Especially at the rate you were going. High time you returned to Beauclair, brave knight. Nay, oh, nay. The head of this beast is a trifle. Wholly inadequate to express the love I harbor for my betrothed. The world awaits. Uh, to honor her, I shall cut down another, more terrible beast. Take my advice. Grab the damned head and cut the shit. You are blind to my predicament. Once I return, I will have no recourse. She'll drag me to the nearest shrine while... Shut up and listen. Crests, scrap metal armor, swooning damsels... All that's nothing to do with hunting monsters. Which is work. Damn hard, dangerous, and thankless work. That you're just not cut out for. Wanna prove your valor? Go back to your betrothed and be honest. Tell her you're not ready to marry. You do not mince words, Master. In Tucson, one might demand satisfaction upon trampled ground, for a lesser slight. Yet, there is truth in what you say, I cannot deny. I survived with my life by a hair. It is time... time I returned home.
I knew a riff once. He stole my horse. The famed Gerald of Riffia, lover of witches and succubi. Learn What's some sleeping you, my culture, Greylocks. Ah. You're in Tucson. I knew a riff once. He stole my horse. You're not afraid of the blessed beast, are you? What's this about? Monsters! Monsters there, in the cave! We managed to flee, but Hugo remains inside! Hugo? Our brother! He's still in there, inside! Help us find him! We'll pay you for your toil! I could look into it, but it'll cost you. How much would you take? A reasonable price. Fine. I'll look for him. You two stay out here. for cooler environments, probably why they keep their distance. Damn, water's hot. Get burned if I don't watch it. Could use some protection. Make the quenel work.
blood hasn't even dried. Blood trail. Could be Hugo's wounded. Fresh blood on the blade. Weapon was Hugo's, maybe. You, Hugo. Your brother sent me. Ja! Dizards! Scoundrels! Tartmongers! They attacked me, but I fended them off! Now, they sent a brigand to finish the job! What are you talking about? Ran into them outside, claimed monsters attacked. They ran, made it out, but you got stuck inside. They asked me to help you. Is that what they told you? The lying weasels. More trickery on their part, I'm certain. Whoa, slow down. What's this about? Uh, I'm Hugo Monar. My father, Victor Monar, you may have heard of. A cognac distiller he was, famed for it. Before he passed, my brothers and I would quarrel over who would inherit the family business. So father decided he would force us to work together. He broke his still down into its parts. Three of them he hid, telling each of us the location of one. When my brothers learned my part, the last, was hidden in here, they decided they did not need me anymore. They decided to cut me out of the business, literally. We argued, fought. The noise must have woken the beasts. My brothers ran for the mouth, while I ran deeper in. So you came here to find a piece of a still. Mean this thing? Yes! Where did you find it? Bottom of the pool of a hot spring. Really hit it well, your father. Your pay. It is not much, I know. But I promise you good prices. The best, once the tavern is open again. Hold you to that. Now let's go. Brothers are probably getting antsy. Wait, see there? My brothers! They've rounded up some thugs! They mean to attack me! We don't know that. Would you try to tell me it's a coincidence? That they return with an armed band? They've come for the last part of the still! They would kill me for it! Please! You may only hope! Kill them! Elsewise, they'll kill me! Kill your brothers? You want that? Well, perhaps not them, but the other roughs, for certain. As to my brothers, I don't know. You couldn't perhaps render them harmless? Ah, will you defend me? Not about to start cutting folk down because of a family squabble about some spare bit of machinery. We're going over there, and you're gonna settle this, talk it out. But should they attack? You will protect me, will you not? If they attack, unprovoked. Let's go. Hugo! Are you well? We were worried! 
Why do I doubt this? Listen, while you were in there, we realized this Tiff is senseless, idiotic. You might have been harmed gravely, and that's something we could never live down. Yushin is right. We must bury this hatchet, work together as Father wished it. All right, glad to see you've made up. Now I really need to get back to my own affairs. Naturally. Your payment. We thank you for your help. Should you ever find yourself near the clever clogs, you must stop in. Superb, Cognac. Some of the best. Will do. So long. Show me what
notes in the journal suggest that straight out of prison, Merton went to the legendary cave. Lebiota was supposed to have hunkered down there once. That's my next destination. He's got their nest here. Ho, Master Witcher!
Master Witcher! You, sir, are a Witcher. The very one the Duquesa summoned. Guilty as charged. And you gotta be someone who wants something from me. It's like you read my mind. You see, those caves are like cellars the gods carved out for their own stores. Spacious, dry. Just some monster lives inside them. A soothsayer! Gods be Celted, a soothsayer. So, will you help? Problem solved. Shalmar that lived in the cave won't pester you anymore. Superb! I've gained a warehouse, and you've gained my gratitude. Mind showing me what you're selling? See you later. Boy, his my bum is ready to blow. You'll not find work here. Not paying work, that is. Mm-hmm. 